Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use all-in-one WordPress migration to both export your WordPress website as well as import it into another website. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. So I'm going to assume you already have the plugin installed. So we're going to come to our WordPress dashboard menu and go to export. Now the first option you see is the find and replace feature right here at the top. Now you can leave this blank, you don't have to fill this out and nothing will happen. But if you do want to fill it out, you can use it just as it sounds. You can use it to find and replace certain things in the database. So I could find uh, my admin username, which is root. Um, it's an offline website, I know you shouldn't use that. And we're gonna replace it with admin. So when we export this website, it, it will make all these changes in the database. But again, you can, you can leave that blank and no changes will be made. Now the next options you can look at are these advanced options right here. And these are basically things you can do, um, you can exclude from the export. So you could exclude spam comments, media files, plugin files, themes, or even the database itself. But again, we're gonna leave all that blank. And you're ready to export your WordPress site. So you hit export to, and we're gonna do a file. So it'll start creating that export, and you'll see download localhost right here, and go ahead and click that. And now this is gonna pop up, and you're basically saving your WordPress back up to your desktop. And it's going to be in this .wpress extension. It's very important to note that you do not change that. This is the extension that the plugin needs to properly import it. So we'll go ahead and save that to our desktop. So now we're all ready to import it. So let's move on to the import. Okay, so now we're going to import the website we just exported. And I am on a new WordPress website right now. Because technically, let's say I want to import that old WordPress site onto this new one, if that makes sense. So we're going to come down to the menu and go to Import. Now, you're going to find your download or your export of the WordPress site and simply drag and drop it into here. And it's going to start that import process. Now, this could take uh, some time or it could be very quick depending on your host and kind of the speeds of your ISP. So go ahead and let that import. And it's going to let you know that this process is going to overwrite the database, media, plugins, and themes. Uh, we already know this, so we'll hit continue. And we'll go ahead and let it do the magic. Okay, and when it's done, it's going to let you know that it's done. So there's two more things we must do. One of them is update our permalink structure. So we'll click this link, but you will notice that you will be logged out. This is because we are now using a new username, and that is the username of the admin from the website that we exported. So we now log into our new website with the old credentials. And it'll take us straight to the permalinks page, and as the message said before, we just have to click Save Changes twice to kind of finalize this import. So we'll hit it once, and then twice, and we are done. Thank you so much for watching, guys.